Hi guys and sorry for my bad English. It's late evening here and something terrible happened just now. I wanted to reduce the size of this uh, partition and uh, as you can see I cannot mount it, cannot access it. Uh, some error happened during the process. Now basically all my data is just lost and uh, I want to show what you can do in this case. The first you should try is, uh, is to check the super blocks. First list uh, all your partitions with fdisk. In, in my case the corrupted file system is sda4. Let's uh, check fsck uh, was the problem. It says uh, super block invalid and uh, super block could not be read or does not describe a valid file system. Uh, let's check if have any backups or not. Use mka2fs to do this. As you can see in my case there is lots of backups so I will try to restore them. In some cases it can fix the problem and it will make the file system work again. I use e2fsck and uh, block number to do this. As you can see mm -hmm, didn't work. However you should try all the stored backups. I already tried all previously and none of them work. So we will change to the second option, which is a backup solution. I will show test disk to you. I paste the download link in the video description. I'm, uh, I'm using uh, a Ubuntu now, live user, with live user, so I download the Linux version. I already downloaded the file, so I won't download again. However, I will navigate to the, to the download folder. <coughs> After extracting it, make sure that uh, you have you can execute the application. Open terminal and uh, navigate to its folder and run the software as root. This is a backup solution, so you need a target device where you will copy your data to. Unfortunately I don't have any, any external hard drives or any of that, so I will use my network storage. Uh, I have a Western Digital 2TB uh, hard disk at home attached to my uh, home router, a DDWRT router. and. Uh, I will use it as a target device. To, to, to do that, first I need to mount it, what I, I already done. Uh, because I'm not at home at this time, I also had to use my uh, home VPN server to access it. I already preset everything, as you, as you can see, uh, the network storage and the folder on, on my live system is the same, so the remote uh, network storage is, is, uh, is mounted and easily can access just like any other folder on the system. And this works from anywhere because I am connected to my home VPN server. Let's run test disk, test disk and uh, choose the corrupted file system. Run uh, analyze on it, a quick search. After the quick search, choose the corrupted file system and press capital P 
to list all the files. I'm lucky. Uh, it seems it found what I need. That's my previous username. And uh, basically I can begin copying my data now. To select all the files, press A. It will show green what is selected. But uh, if you want to select specific folders, you also can do it. After you selected what you want to copy and to save, press capital C to enter copy mode. Now you have to find your destination where you want to save your data to. In this case, I will navigate to media and I will select the my mounted network storage. Uh, which is a remote location because I don't have any 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 other backup storage devices. To paste the data, just press capital C again, and it will uh, show it's already started copying. And as you can see, the network monitor because I'm saving to a remote location now, it began copying. Let's open the remote folder. I use I use the IP address. Okay. Yes, and uh, my lost data is being copying now. The folder I just needs appeared and if I open the folder I can see all the files oh if if can't see maybe it's because hidden yes they are hidden folders and files and if I show the if I turn on showing hidden files uh, they become visible I hope this video have for you and uh, thanks for watching